so to start working on this project first you need to go to uh, this website which is kaggle.com and download the data set using this link so this is celeb face attribute celeb a data set which will provide you 2 lakh images with 40 binary attribute annotations so we'll talk about that later so just click on download and it will start downloading okay as I have already downloaded it might take some time because it's 1.3 gigs file so after download it paste it into a separate directory which I have done in celebrate data set clear and uh, because it's a zip file so in zip it you will get a folder like this okay so in image align celebrate you will get all the images around 2, two lakh images and uh, we get four CSV file here. So we'll work on list attributes anyway. Okay. So to start working on this, you need to first open your Jupyter notebook. So it's open. Now go to the same directory which is desktop celeb a data set and inside that create a new notebook. So you can say I have created a new notebook here. Let's call it test. And first of all, import some important libraries OS for operating system commands. Shoot IL to copy the files. And uh, numpy as np for numeric con computations and as as pd for reading the data set csv files and import cv2 as cv to import images and mat.lib.py plot as plt for plotting the images you can see uh, see the images just execute this and uh, matplotlib dot okay matplot lib dot pyplot has appeared okay so it's done now the first thing we need to do is import our csv file this one attribute cell so copy the file name so data frame let's call it df for data frame so pd dot read underscore csv and paste the name here so read dot csv function is used to read the csv file okay and uh, this is this will store in this df data format okay so df dot head great so we've got, we have got five rows and 41 columns because if we are calling df dot head it will return only first five rows clear okay. and we are having 40 columns uh, one of them is image id then we are having cloak shadow, arc die, attractive, bags under eyes, bald, bangs, big lips, big nose. So these are the binary attributes. So here one means it's present inside the image and negative one means it's not present inside the image. Okay, let's see what are the different columns we are having. So we are having image ID and uh, the most important which we need today is mail. Okay. So we'll take TF dot mail as the gender and image ID as image underscore ID is equal to DF of image underscore ID. 
okay so image underscore id clear we are having all the images 2,2598 images 99 images actually because the index is starting from 0 and uh, same way we are having gender negative ones uh, negative one denote that it's a female and one denotes it's a male clear let's add values here so that we'll get the values in a list format clear so length of generation is equal to equal to length of image it true means we are having the same number of values in both the columns like for Im each image id we are having one attribute uh, which will give you that it's a male or a female okay so now what we need to do now let's take one image so this is the image name so let's read one image and plot it for testing purpose so that we can say we can see what are the basic shape of the image and all other features so to do this cv dot i am read so we are reading the image and the image will be uh, in the directory named as image align select a so in this folder we are having an image which is named as jpg so if we are seeing a shape okay so its shape is 218 is to 178 is to 3 which is 3 is the channel and 218 is the height 178 is the width so let's plot the image and to plot the image we'll use this prt matplotlib so prt dot i am show h o w and provide the image so you can see it's a female so it's a female so let's also see the gender of that particular index minus one means it's a I means just female now uh, let's import an another image called three it's a male and three means index number two so let's call the gender of index number two gender of index number two means one males it's a male okay so for each particular image we are having its gender now what we are going to do is we need to we are having around two lakh images and we want to separate all the images according to their gender means if uh, it's a picture of a male then we'll uh, copy it into a directory named as male and if it is inside the female directory uh, fee, it's a female image then we will fed it into a uh, directory named as female so let's create the directories first to do this mkdir which is a kernel command for making the directory and uh, we will do it for train not train uh, mail clear and same way we will go for female so let's create two directories okay so let's see we have got the directories there we have got male and a female clear now let's pass the whole let's create a for loop for i in which is image underscore path in image id okay and if we go 
to print image underscore path then we can say this is the image path so it will get all the images now what I want to do is I want to create a whole path for this so if the gender of I in range length of image ID and as far as we are doing it if the gender of that particular index is minus one that means the mesh should go to a female directory and else image will go to directory named as bill simple so this is the final code here so first we are going for for i in range length of image id so this rule will iterate through the list till the end means 2 lakh 5000 something images and uh, now if we encounter gen of i means gender of that particular index image will give you negative one then i am copying this image with image id or at index i and i am pasting it into the female directory with the same name okay otherwise i will copy the file and paste it into the male directory okay and uh, for seeing how much progress we are doing so to track the progress we will use if i point by thousand equals to equals to zero it will print i comma i trations So, hope for the best and execute it. Zero iterations done, thousand iterations done. Okay, so now you can see we are copying the files and pasting it into the directories. Now you can see we are having 2297 files, 94 files, and in the female directory. We are having 5944 images and is still pasting here. So wait for it to complete, it will go till 2 lakhs. So it's 17,000 now. So now you can see we are done with all the iterations. There are 118,000 images inside the female folder and in mail we can have 80 something 84,400 images around so we have divided the data set into two parts and now you can directly use them clear